And so we continue on the journey. In this world, you and I can create states. But the spiritual states are eternal. We create a state here. It's not eternal. We create a state to deliver individuals forevermore. I create a state, somebody asked me. Will you hear that I am? And they name what they would like to be. All right? So that I must create the state. Knowing that he is now in a state that he dislikes. I must distinguish between the being and the state that he is in. So I see him unemployed. All right? So he's unemployed. And he wants to be gainfully employed. There's nothing wrong in that. So I represent him to myself as one who is gainfully employed who has more than he's ever had before to the degree that I am self-persuaded that he is what I have now imagined him to be to that degree he will actually become it I move him out of one state into another but that state into which he fell remains for anyone to fall into it and all can fall into it at the same time for that matter He's not the only occupant of the state of being unemployed. There could be millions being unemployed. And there could be millions who desire to be out of it. Many who are unemployed have no desire to be out of it. They prefer to be on welfare. That's their desire. Perfectly all right. But if someone desires to be gainfully employed and to leave the state of being unemployed, you and I can create that state. Well, how do I create the state? By using my imagination. Imagination is not a state. It's the human existence himself. You are all imagination. And God is all imagination. You are God. And God is actually within you as your own wonderful human imagination.